The Kempi Fast MIG X Black Inverter Welding Package is the ultimate in high quality, multi process pulse welding solution with a whole range of functional options, providing customers with maximization of welding quality control and huge improvement to productivity. Fast MIG X Black is available in 350 and 450 amp power options, rated for high duty cycle in intensive welding production. The package has three standard setup platforms and all platforms are upgradable. FastMig X Black Regular is designed for day-to-day -day welding applications and set up to weld standard MIG, Synergic MIG, Pulse and Double Pulse MIG. This includes welding curves for mild steel, aluminium and stainless steel. FastMig Black Pipe is designed with pipe welding specifically in mind using the WiseRU Plus process on carbon and stainless steels. The AMC or Arc Mobile Control version is the ultimate package which incorporates a complete suite of welding software optimization programs covering all types of materials but also including Bluetooth communication for package setup using a simple smartphone or tablet. FastMig X Black is also available in twin feeder packages designed specifically for pipe welding applications. We'll now set up a FastMig Black 450 with AMC control via a tablet. We will demonstrate how to weld in double pulse using the variation of the pulse frequency, double pulse amplitude and pulse current. We'll demonstrate that this makes day-to-day -day welding in carbon steel, stainless steel, aluminium or any other kind of special material including super duplex extremely easy. We're now going to demonstrate using a step-by-step -step guide how to create a memory channel on the FASMIG X450, setting up a double pulse process. The package can be completely set up and controlled using either the AMC Bluetooth interface or the traditional control panel. Using the control panel or your AMC interface, you are now able to select and lock your WPS or welding procedure specification by selecting the right parameters on the control panel. The parameters can be simply set by adjusting the scroll arrows on the panel. Firstly, set the wire feed speed. This will be the same value on the feeder display as on the power source. Set up the minimum and maximum values for wire feed speed. The maximum value will be based upon the size of each wire including its limitation or tolerance. Set up fine tuning. The fine tuning affects the arc length control and the factory setting is set at zero. The maximum value of fine tuning can be set. The value is 9. This is the positive side where you can increase the arc length or voltage during the welding process. The minimum value of fine tuning can be adjusted from minus 9. This is now on the negative side where you can reduce your arc length or voltage. Now set the dynamics. The factory setting is 0 but can be adjusted between positive 9 and negative 9. Dynamics is simply the digital inductance to control and soften the arc. Now set the pulse current value. The factory settings are set at zero, but this can be regulated between minus 10% and plus 15%. This will have the effect of reducing or increasing the peak current of each pulse cycle. We will show you later on in our welding demonstration the effect of adjusting your pulse current on your welding application. The last two parameters are the most important part of setting up a double pulse process. This will involve adjusting the speed of the pulse or pulse frequency and the double pulse amplitude. Double pulse amplitude settings are set up as a curve in the factory which means that the pulse amplitude will automatically adjust based upon the base current set. But you can also tailor your double pulse amplitude by adjusting between 0.1 meters per minute to 3 meters per minute. Now set the double pulse frequency. This is set up as a curve in the factory, 
which means that the pulse frequency will automatically adjust based upon the base current set. Again, you can tailor your frequency like the double pulse amplitude. The minimum range is 0.4 and the maximum 8 Hz per minute. Just remember, the lower the value of the frequency, the slower the pulse. The higher the frequency, the quicker the pulse. Once you have adjusted all 10 parameters, you can press the save button and start welding. We will now demonstrate welding with this double pulse program on aluminium.